So I watched The Jesus Revolution with my wife and my best friend Arthur, and actually my best friend is my wife. <laughs> I really liked it. I thought it was a really good movie. The only complaint I guess I have is that there wasn't really a call of repentance. Jesus said to repent and believe the gospel, but I really love the story of Lonnie Frisbee. It really shows how God uses broken people, and this is obviously a true story. It took place during the 60s, and the hippies were obviously outcasted. People rejected the hippies, and I would wager to say that most people God uses, if not all, are outcasted. God uses the foolish things in the world to shame the wise. I am a foolish thing in this world. I am outcasted, and it's really a movie that moved me. I mean, I, I teared up a couple times. I definitely want to see it again. I feel like there's a huge rejection of Jesus in our world today. And even if you invite people to see a movie like this when every other movie is bad, Dungeons and Dragons. I watched Doctor Strange not too long ago and it was just straight up demonic. And most movies out today are like that. The messaging in movies, the messaging in culture in general, with all the lustful images that our, our kids and youth and young men see, the porn culture. And for a movie to come out like this, The Jesus Revolution, I think we as Christians really need to promote it and invite people, invite our friends, because when we invite our friends and loved ones to church or to a Bible study, you know, I, I feel like that's commonly rejected, but a movie is something most people would go to. So even if we get rejected, I think it's something we need to do as Christians, but the movie is really good. It's really focused on a character named Greg. His dad wasn't present in his life in the movie and his mom was an alcoholic, would have him sing to her and he felt like everybody in his life was leaving him. And so he was looking for all the right things in all the wrong places, looking for truth. Seeking for truth in the movie, Greg ended up doing drugs, they were doing acid and, and things like that. And he eventually comes across Lonnie Frisbee, who is obviously a flawed person. Everybody in this movie was flawed, right? Just as everybody in real life is flawed, I'm flawed. And it really just, again, shows how God uses broken, flawed people to relay his message. God used Lonnie Frisbee to relay his message. God used something foolish to the world, like a hippie, like the hippies, and used that person to spread his message. And it's really beautiful. It's a really good movie. It's a really good Jesus movie. There's not a whole lot of good Christian movies out there. And I mean good as in well-produced and an overall good movie. A lot of Christian movies are very cheesy and just not realistic. Anyways, it's a really good movie. Again, the only complaint is no call to repentance. I think there was a scene where Greg was going in to get baptized and they asked him if he wanted to make that decision for Christ right now and then he was led into the sinner's prayer. I'm not a fan of the sinner's prayer. You know, when John the Baptist baptized in the Bible, people confessed their sins and were baptized. And Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So we repent, come to Christ, repent and believe the gospel. You know, saying somebody else's words, I'm not a fan of that. You know, I think that, again, God is the author of salvation, not somebody's crafty words. The whole Billy Graham movement with the sinner's prayer, I really feel like was harmful to Christians and I feel like it led a lot of people to hell, if I'm being quite honest with you. But the message of the gospel is clear. In the movie, they stated this is the word of God, which the Bible is the word of God. Obviously, I'm not holding a Bible right now, but it's the word of God. And Jesus said to repent and believe the gospel, Mark 1.15. So repent, turn away from your sins, watch The Jesus Revolution, it's a very good movie. And I really felt like the pastor in the movie had a really good heart. You know, we are the least of these, right? My favorite passage of scripture is Matthew 25, 31 through 46, where Jesus is separating the sheep from the goats on judgment day. And he said, what you did unto the least of these, my brethren, you did unto me. That's Matthew 25, 40, when he's talking to his sheep. But when he's talking to the goats, when Jesus is talking to the goats, he said, what you did not do unto the least of these, my brethren, you did not do unto me. So the least of these, how we treat the least of these is how we treat Jesus Christ. And that goes for everybody in our life. We originally, my best friend Arthur, my wife and I, we went to go see the Jesus Revolution at a movie theater and the projector wasn't working so the guy comes out and says, you know, it's not working, we're gonna give you a refund and we're gonna give you an extra ticket, you know. They can't help that. A lady was super rude, I mean super rude. Like there was a lady working at the movie theater in a wheelchair and she was just very mean to this, this lady, you know. You don't understand how long it took me to get here 
and just treating everyone that was working at the movie theater very poorly, despite the fact that we were getting refunds and an extra ticket. So again, if we're gonna watch a Jesus movie, if we're gonna preach Jesus, we need to live Jesus, we need to treat others well.